the laptop finds the card, but not in a way that you're thinking. That's right, my friends, with MiniBook Pro, this guy, we are gonna give you all the details about this new creation from Roddy McGee and Noel Quarter. This one is a worker, my friends. This one you are absolutely gonna go crazy over. And the best part is I've got one of the most creative guys in the world here with me to tell you all about him. Talking about Roddy McGee. How we doing, buddy? Hello, I'm good, thank you. There's the accent. That's what you guys have been waiting for. <laughs> there it is, and here is the man, Roddy McGee. All right. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Roddy. I know you're on the other side of the world. It's later in the day where you are, uh, and I think you mentioned some house renovations going on. So you got all sorts of stuff going on around you. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm in my mother's house at the moment. So yeah. No, but thank you so much for having me. It's it's great to finally do this. You know, I've been part of this all things magic thing from from the start really and i've never got a chance to kind of properly go in here get involved you know hell yeah man well thank you uh and congrats to you and noel you know this is the first of many releases i am sure from your new company. oh yeah trick trick boom right there trick, Love it. well congrats to you guys yes <laughs> <laughs> your debut release the laptop finds the card. It locates the card. Um, mm -hmm. MiniBook Pro, what, what is it? I know that we have video footage. We can show it. We can. People might have already seen the trailer and they want to get more info on it. But if they haven't seen it, if you were to kind of sum it up in a nutshell, what is MiniBook Pro? Uh, so <laughs> MiniBook Pro, what is it? It's, it's, almost like a, it's almost a card to impossible location. Almost. Uh, I guess it's... It's a bit like lit, like Dan White, Dan Hoss's lit for the for the twenty first century, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that was that was a big inspiration for it, obviously, as you can tell. Uh, and you know, uh, and I've been friends with uh, Dan Hoss for a number of years, and thankfully he gave us his blessing. He he really liked it. Uh, so yeah, essentially that's what it is. You uh, talk about how you bought this little laptop online and you can ask someone to look up uh, the site on their phone and then you just pluck this little tiny phone, this little tiny laptop from their phone. It makes a visual appearance. You can give them their phone back. Uh, and we had that. I mean, that alone is kind of almost two tricks, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got that little visual opener where you can pull the laptop off of your phone or off of someone else's phone. Uh, and if you do it with their phone, then the way that this has been done, uh, they can't like go back the way the, the, the laptop will always be gone on that page on their phone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then they select a card and they, they type it in here and they can handle the laptop. And then at one point uh, in the routine, you try and find their card, you try and locate it, they deal down to it. And when they don't find it, you have them check the laptop and when they do, they will notice that now the laptop is their same card. Uh, and then they get to keep this, and it's a cool little souvenir. And you know the whole kind of thing of uh, magic being stronger in the retailing. That's, that's where the magic really happens when people talk about it later. And then here, they've got the whole story. They can show their phone. They can say, this little app, and, and, and it was on. They pulled it off, and it turned into my card. So... <laughs> That, that's what it is in a nutshell. Kind of, he said rambling. <laughs> that's in a big nutshell. No, it's great. And there is a lot going on. You know, the, the, the plucking it off, like you said, is a trick in its own. But I do want to reiterate what you just said. You can do this on a borrowed phone. It does not have to be something that's just yeah. loaded up on your phone. You can borrow their phone and do it. I think that's courtesy of Mark Kirstein, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Mark's... Uh, he, again, we are we are good friends, Mark uh, and Noel and I. So he was uh, he was great. Yeah, he just worked out. You can do it on your own phone through these, right? And it's really smooth the way it works. Uh, but then I said to Mark, I want to do this. I want to borrow a phone and do this, and I want the laptop to be gone. And he just goes, Yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> and half an hour later, he goes, There you go. Thirty? <laughs> are you serious? Much. It took him thirty minutes to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I may, be, I may be exaggerating, but yeah, I mean, it's like it what he did is fantastic. And the great thing with the keynote is that 
Uh, everything is so customizable. You can change the size of the phone. You can change the size of the laptop. So if you've got maybe a, a bigger phone mm -hmm. and the default image, the, the laptop looks kind of big or it's too small compared to the, the real one, you can just go in and, and pinch it and alter it and, and edit it until it's perfect for your phone cool. uh, so that you get that great retention of vision when you pull it off. I mean, no one's going to notice a couple of millimetres difference in size, but we just we just wanted to make sure it was perfect, right, you know? And so, yeah, I mean, I can see people just doing this on social media, just pulling the laptop off the phone because it looks so good. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that, like I say, the fact you can do it on someone else's phone is really, that, that was a game changer for me. I was so delighted we were able to do it. Yeah. Uh, because it's just, you, you know what it's like anytime, or quite often, if you do something visual, um, with a phone uh, magic related and people are just like oh and then they go oh it's like an app or something right mm -hmm. but to be able to have them you know go to a website and then you just pluck it off there and give them their phone back it gives you that other it gives you a bit of an edge right and and, and with the trick obviously we've been showing this i have i have these obviously too um what do people get? You know, we're looking at the little uh, laptop. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a so box we, here. So what else do they you get? get this uh, gorgeous packaging, which isn't anything like the, the, any other fruit-based uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, computer manufacturer. Or, but, you know, so you get this lovely little box, and then here you will get your, um, your pack of, you get 26 of these cards. I'll show you these cards and you get your little laptop as you said so let's have a look at these and um, we did oh we went through so many samples to get these these aren't a uh, USPCC but they they handle beautifully and we got the the finish just perfect on them it's hard, kind of hard to see yeah it does look really good so these are the cards, and, and you'll know yourself from seeing them. the quality on these are fantastic. We are so, so happy with the quality of these. And they come with these uh, score lines on them. So they're very easy to score. we we'll go over that in depth uh, in the tutorial because you want it to be perfect, right? I have probably Mercury folded a billion, a gazillion cards <laughs> over the last 30 years, right? I think I'm pretty good at it. But I would not do this without scoring the card. Right. Because you want it to be bang on, right? So when it's scored and it's folded, it looks like this, right? Yeah. So you are going to get it flaring a little bit at the edges there, right? Uh, but genuinely, I've had this side facing people all the time and they're looking right at it and they don't see it. Sometimes you have to physically say to someone, no, open it up, they're looking at it and they're doing this. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, open it up. Usually someone to their side spots it, you know. Um, but, you know, just as a comparison, you can see. Um, so we've got the, the genuine laptop there and the, the, the card. So we tried to get it as bang on as we possibly could. Uh, and I think, I think we achieved it. Like I say, we went through a lot of samples trying to get these right. Um, and it's just, it's such a joy to, when you do it, when you put it on someone's hand, <laughs> you're like just wait. just wait just when you I lift this to. when you lift this off their hand like it takes a lot of guts right to to lift the metal laptop off their hand and then immediately put the card on there right. but I, i've done it a lot of times and when you get away with it you're like yes more more often what i'll do is i'll have two people handle it so some person's handling it here mm -hmm. i will um I'll, I'll lift it from their hand and i'll, I'll put it in i'll switch and put it in someone else's hand uh, and they don't notice it because they've never handled the metal one, right? But oh, we, we cover it, the, the tutorial, <laughs> for such a direct and simple track, you'd think the tutorial was going to be pretty short, but I think we're coming in about three hours on it, which, which wasn't our intention, but we, we just wanted to cover absolutely everything, you know? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. When it comes to Mercury folding a card, and switching a card under misdirection, that's a, that's a little scary for a lot of magicians, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's, that seems like a big ask. But honestly, this is like misdirection with the training wheels. The, yeah. the routine we put together 
is we try and make it as bulletproof as possible. And if you've never done anything like this before, then this is a great start. You can do the version where, where, where it's not signed, you can do an unsigned version. Oh, yeah. And it's a great place to start learning that misdirection because that moment when you put the card down and you know that they haven't noticed, it's, it's the <laughs> sweetest, it's the sweetest. And, and, and again, I'd like to say for people who, who look on this kind of track and say, oh, that, you know, I'm, just, I'm a hobbyist or I'm, my slight hand's not great, uh, we've got you covered. You know, there's no difficult stuff here. And if you have ever folded a Mercury folded a card that scored, it almost does it itself. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to do. Well, I think another, I think another question slash uh, thing that we should share with people is obviously, uh, as Roddy mentioned, you're getting this guy. Uh, you're also getting the packet of cards. And I do want to say something too, real quick. Um, these are not all the same. These are not all the same cards either. Like there's a couple of dupes here and there, but the pack I have, it's a variety of cards. You're not just getting yeah. like basically a four step. Yeah. Well, we specifically went for uh, certain cards um, okay. and we go over this as well. And it's the orientation of the pip. Mm -hmm. So we all, we wanted some cards that were one way. Got it. Uh, on the face, right? And, and a variety of them as well. And that's just to help you with the handling. It's not something that I, uh, that, that I really use in performance because I do it differently from no, but it's, it's a good position check, right? Mm -hmm. So you can look at the you can see the card from the front and you know what orientation it has to be for your Mercury fold. Uh, okay, uh, so that's why they are the values they are. Uh, and like I say, we went for a bunch of them, and uh, yeah, it's all we all we cover all that in the tutorial. Cool. Um, it is <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention too, my friends, is yes, you get 26. However, Mr. Roddy McGee, I'm really happy that you guys decided to also offer refills. So let's talk a little yeah. bit about refills. How many do you get in the refill pack? Because obviously people are going to so, go through these. There are 56 in the cool. refill pack. And it is the same, the same values as before. Okay. But you just get a bunch of them. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, 56 of these. Uh, and I think this is going to be like something like 15 bucks, I think. 15 so bucks for a whole pack. That's a steal, man. Love it. Yeah. Yep. I think so. And it comes in this attractive box. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is one thing, you know, sometimes when we do, when we do get tricks, you know, I, I've been a performer as well. Sometimes you have these tricks that you get and it only comes with X number of things and are no refills. And you kind of use that not as much just because you know, well, I've only got this many left. What's nice about this, you don't have to worry about that. And my friends, I know Roddy mentioned it earlier, uh, my friends that have used Lit, you know, the trick with the matchbook, uh, you know people want to keep these things and you should let them keep it. So uh, it yeah, makes sense to have Especially this. This is just people, I get people say, can I... Can I keep this? And they're, like, yeah. and they're like, oh wow, really? And I know that people are going to, some people will worry about the the refills and the sort of like, okay, there's a lot of additional cost and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, 56 for uh, in a pack, it's going to last you a while. And I think, I think it's, I think we've gone right with the price on that. But you can do this without signing it and you, you don't have to give it away, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's slightly different, but it's still, I think it still has still has a, a, a the impact i think it's still a great track if you do it unsigned as well yeah. um because i know a lot of people are they'd be less comfortable with having people sign them and stuff like that yeah. i think it's more powerful if you sign it but then that's probably me just it's just the magician head there isn't it <laughs> yep and, and i mean and you know they're going to want to keep it let's be honest so why not just have them do the whole deal yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean there's not really a lot of other questions about the trick specifically, I know that you get what you need. You know, people, when they purchase this, you get everything you need. Um, I, I guess one question would be, uh, just between you and Noel, obviously this is a joint effort. Um, you know, when it comes to creativity though from you, I, I, if you don't mind me asking, um, do you have any tips for people when it comes to creativity? I know that you probably get asked this a lot and there probably isn't just one answer, but 
you know, a lot of people want to know, especially from someone like you, you know, how can they maybe be a little more creative with their magic? So, do you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, that is a, it's, it's a tough one, right? Because I do get asked that a lot and I try to talk about it in my lectures and stuff yeah. like that. But it's always, it's that elusive little thing you're just trying to grasp all the time of where does that creative spark come from? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, how do you nurture it and stuff like that? And it's very difficult. For me, it feels like I have light bulb moments where I go, ah, and, and <laughs> it feels to me like ideas just pop into my head. But I know that's not the case. Uh, I know that it's, I will have the seed of an idea somewhere from seeing something. Yeah. And then I just pop it in my brain. I say, right, you get to work on that. And my subconscious works away on it, puts it together. And then, and then it rings a little bell and goes ready. And it goes ding. And I'm like, ah. And it comes as a form, a fully formed idea most of the time, right? But I know it didn't start that way. It's come from somewhere. I mean, there are things, I think it's, a lot of it is about just keeping your eyes open, right? And just like watching. Oh, is that the cat coming in? Hello. Yeah, the cat's coming in there. So it is, it is about um, just looking at everything and, and seeing things, trying to see things differently, look at things from a different angle. Like, you know, like that's been a good example of, of no seeing this little uh, laptop and saying, wow, that looks, that looks like the same size as a folded card, you know? <laughs> uh, so, you know, sometimes you're just looking for opportunity. So, so there are things you can do. There's things that you can do, like little exercises. So there's a, a thing that I do sometimes where uh, I'll, I'll watch a magic trailer, right? Watch a trailer for a magic trick. Uh, and it, for a trick that you don't know what it is, right? <laughs> watch the trailer and just sort of pause it before the end or before you, you're, you're like halfway through the effect and then try and work out what's going to happen. Uh-huh. And what I find happens a lot of the time is I'll get to the end of it and what I thought was going to happen was totally different from what actually <laughs> happens. And in that process, you've come up with something new. A lot of the times where you go, oh, That's I cool. thought that, that hmm, I wonder if there's something in that, right? But I would say just like consume, I mean, I know it's, I know a lot of magicians will say, read a lot of magic books and, and all that kind of stuff. I don't read a lot of magic books, really, to be honest, as much as I love them. Uh, I tend to get my ideas just randomly from other places. I think if you, I don't know, I think if you if you read a lot and you immerse yourself entirely in magic, then you're you're almost kind of cursed to try and recreate what's gone before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you'll think, oh, what will I do here? Well, what, what, how can I come up with my own triumph or my own oil and water or, yeah. or something like that? A version of Whereas, someone else's thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you're just like, you get an idea from a movie where something weird happens in it and you go, oh, that may be a magic trick, but I, I don't know. I think it's it's so hard to pin down, but I think it's a, a lot of it is about seeing things differently, seeing things from a different angle, and uh, and that's just something that I've always done, not intentionally. Um, it's uh, it has ADHD. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> no, and I, I know there's not a one answer for everybody, and there's not, and there's just not one way to do something. You know, this is going to make anyone creative. Pop this pill yeah. and you'll be creative. Like it doesn't work like that. You know, you just got to keep your keep your mind open to possibilities. Yeah. You know, and just look at just look at everything as a potential magic trick or a potential magic idea. And like, I know that I've asked you. I think everything that I had about the sky, the mini book pro, which is out now. This has been a hard secret to keep, Roddy. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had What's this, I've been checking it out, and I've done a good job, though, so. Yeah. It's been hard. I know I've been dying to tell people about it, and kind of, you know, for, yeah. for the ages, and it's like, it feels weird. It's almost an anti-climax that it's finally coming out, because it's like, I've been working this for over a year, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and so many magicians, the guys that I know that are like, when can I get one? Can yeah. Get one? Hell yeah. And there's like, you know, a couple of guys that I know have, have managed to say, like, well, so I'll give you a few cards just now and blah blah blah. Yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been yeah, I'm delighted that we're finally getting to 
to share it and I honestly I hope people like it I mean of course I do right of course yeah. I do your magic uh, it's always so quirky. That's the word I love to use with Rodney McGee's magic. It's always so quirky. These, you never know what you're going to get. You know, all the way from, I'm looking at your website now, all the way from Frankendo, freaking Xerox, adding light to the printing effect. I mean, come on, man. I wish I thought of that shit. Like, it's just so weird and so cool. Like, that's... It's kind of obvious, right? It's kind of obvious, though. That's what I think. I go, like, with everything that seems kind of obvious to me, but, you know. God, or even sliding the little door. I mean, come on, dude. Like, yeah. come on. Anyway, also, you're going to see the card in the box again. It's obvious. I don't, I don't get it. What it's just so, it's so, smart. <laughs> so smart. And I know you guys have a lot of his effects. And now you can own the brand new mini book pro from Roddy and no quarter, obviously. And yeah. uh, pick it up today. It's available. I can tell you about it. You got to hear all about it here. As always, yeah. any other questions, post them in That's the comments below. Point. That's the end point. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Available at all things magic. Right now. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> well, thank you, my friend, for your thoughts and answering some questions. And uh, if we can be of service to anyone else out there, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, with that said, Mr. Roddy McGee, we will talk to you next time. And I can't wait to see what you guys come out with next. Can't wait. Great. Thank you so much.